Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DRYS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation, it makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was not that long ago, and then you look at where it closed today, any rational person would say, yeah, the bulls have definitely made some progress. But that does lead to the very valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea. But like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And I've talked about this in past analysis, but is this level here at $4.10. So before anything else, first got to get this update made. And this update comes from a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. Especially in this case, why do we want to see 410 act as support? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, are going to progress forward. The price is not going to go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not going to go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly. So with that in mind, think about $4.10. Any sort of closes below it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this range that it just broke out of. So going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back, not saying it will, but pulls back and then behaves in this manner before starting to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down here. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. It's gonna make progress forward. In this situation, I'm defining and quantifying make progress forward as $4.10. What about areas of resistance? Key area of resistance going into next week, you can call right up there at four dollars and seventy-five cents. So four seventy-five, public enemy number one. But all in all, it's really all about building higher bases. So while breaking levels of resistance are nice, yeah, as long as the price is putting in higher lows over time, then the overall chart will take care of itself, which includes breaking areas of resistance. So in my opinion, at least, top priority next week is just keep on doing what it's been doing and build higher bases. We'll see what happens with it. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.